I'm Marla Maples, and you're watching A Brave Heart View. I'm Suzanne Senna, and you're watching A Brave Heart View. I'm Rolanda Watts, and you're watching A Brave Heart View. I'm Ellie Drake, and you're watching A Brave Heart View. Hello and welcome to A Brave Heart View. Ready to get inspired in only 10 minutes? Your hosts today are not behaving. <laughs> Rolanda Watts, actress and host of the TV series Rolanda. Suzanne Senna, TV host and the former news anchor for the Fox News Channel. Marla Maples, actress, TV host and humanitarian. I'm Ellie Drake, the founder of Brave Heart Women. Here's a question for you. Is our society focused only on the young? It's a hot topic, isn't it? It seems that we, are, we may be forgetting about a generation that has a great deal of wisdom and so much more to offer. Mm -hmm. it's so so much more. Are we considered young? Uh, yes, yes, absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. 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 I work for this youth. Some of us pay for it. Jobs. <laughs> but we know about it in yeah. Hollywood. I mean, we yeah. see it all the time. They don't care about the years of experience. experience. They don't necessarily care, and I'm not saying everybody, but for the most part, yeah. it's very mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. If it comes down to a 20-year-old with a sex tape and you with wisdom yeah. and a graduate degrees That's and, the, right. and, and all the of that, they're going, with, go the, with, the with the kid. They're going mm -hmm. with the kid. Mm -hmm. And it's a tough thing because we do have so much to offer. Uh, I think that, that women who are, who are, who are mature and uh, have so much to offer the world, and I think that, they, that less and less or fewer and fewer of us are being seen. And it isn't just women, though, that we're talking about here, right? It's, it's people yeah. older in general. We're talking yeah. about other countries where age is equated with wisdom, where your elders are truly respected and valued. Um, it's not uncommon, more so in other countries, for families to take in or never move out from um, grandparents, you know, parents, and we don't see that so much in our society. Yeah. Again, I think it's a bit of a, a me generation, you know, where we're so concerned about ourselves and, and what we can do rather than thinking of the others. And, and I have an incredible grandfather that just turned 90 years old, and oh I God. love being with that man. He still makes me laugh. God knows he can barely hear a word I say. I right. speak <laughs> really loud and really Southern for him. But he just, he's, it's a life force that's still in him, even at 90, you know, that, that carries He's been to the war. You know, he's, he survived war. He's lived in a marriage for 65 one of years. But we're cultures life. that doesn't honor age. Why is yeah. that? Why don't Why? we? Because of advertising dollars, maybe. There you go. Yeah. You know, and, when we're the ones with the money. And, <laughs> you, and you were saying, is it all, it's not only women, but yeah. isn't it really true that mostly women are a victim of this? Yeah. Because, you know, um, I don't know. I mean, it, it feels bad to even say it, but... Isn't it true that when a man ages and they have wrinkles, you know, and they, they it seems like in our perception they're more, they're handsome mm -hmm. and they look like a man. And when a woman ages the same and has wrinkles, mm -hmm. then she's too old for yeah. movies, for well, television. Well, especially for, in our, our industry, we see that quite a bit. Yeah. I mean, you, when you're looking at a news person and Oh, you, the guy you, with oh, the gray yeah. temples has yeah. credibility. Yeah. Yeah. I wish you would go on TV <laughs> with some gray in your temple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. For all of it. Yeah, so how true. can we change that? I mean, is, can that be changed or is it all about the advertising dollars? I think we have to be more free about it. We need to just be willing to like well, walk you know, women, out the door women, and know we're okay. Women who are bosses tend to fall into that category too. We, we you know, we can vetch about it, but at the same time, a lot of times when we are in those those seats as producers of a show or or we're choosing the young and not really going going with the, the And I love saying my age. I mean I, I know. really do. Mm -hmm. well, when <laughs> <laughs> we should be proud to give our age and walk strong yeah. with that, rather than people thinking, well, goodness gracious, for that age, right. she's amazing. Well, no, you're but, amazing, period, for well, whatever no, age you are. You, you know that. But, but the thing is, is, is we have to also recognize the fact. And it was interesting. I was watching a movie last night um, that Rosanna Arquette did called yeah. Searching for Deborah Winger. And it was taught that they, I know. <laughs> but you think about Deborah Winger when she was young and she was in these movies and then she disappeared. It was very interesting because mm. in this documentary, they talked to so many powerful, beautiful, successful women in, say, their 30s and 40s. And they all had the same message. But here's part of the problem. You say you're not afraid to say your age. Well, look at you. You're Marla Maples. Are you typical of the 45-year-old woman in this country? No. Not necessarily. Mm -hmm. And so part of our generation in Hollywood, right. part of what we do is are we setting unrealistic expectations? Yes. In this documentary, um, a couple key actresses, Norman, uh, Frances McNorman and also um, uh, Holly Hunter, they mm -hmm. said to each other, you know what, let's just 
stay true to our age, not do a lot of plastic surgery, because eventually when they need a woman to play a 40-year-old or 50-year-old, there'll be nobody there'll who be no looks that age anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. 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 everyone will do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the trick. But it's also the, 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 the reason they're choosing is for, it's not, it's not the real reason. It's like they're not, you know, yeah. let's do it. It's very interesting, and it's a, it's, a, it's a great topic. But on some level, don't you think that, the, you, uh, that youth is wasted on the young? I mean, when I was like 20 Gosh, years yes. old, <laughs> I didn't care about my teeth. You know, when I was 25, I didn't care about my skin. Sometimes I feel like, God, you should have given us a period of yeah. trial and tribulation without, you know, giving us the, the, the consequences right. of our choices. Well, I'm about to have the big birthday. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. Big Which one? one? Yeah. Which the one? Big five oh. Oh, oh, the yeah. big 5-0. Oh, the big 5-0. And I don't think I have ever been better in my life. Good. You Tell know? us more. So I think that just setting that example where, where 50 is the new black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's it's how we step out in the world. It's it's yeah. it's that swagger that we have that makes us attractive, I think. And I think as long as we take care of ourselves and we are true to who we are, you know, I'm not trying to be a teenager, even though I act yeah. like one half the time. Yeah. But just being true to ourselves sets the be best example. That's all we can do. We're so beautiful at this age. Do you really feel yeah. more beautiful now than There's you did no 10 years question. ago? There's no really? question. But do you no question. Go, yeah. Now, wait a minute. I got a couple of little younger. love handles I'm trying to get <laughs> yeah. rid of that, you yeah, know, yeah. happen. Yeah, but yeah, but right. just in terms of being a secure woman, knowing who I am, my place in the world, knowing what I have contributed, and how much more I have to do. Mm -hmm. And I take pride in being at this age, being but, able to. And I love things. to listen to you. I promise you that much. Yeah. Well, I love I to listen love to you. We love each other. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I'm, I'm a hold up 50 for you, girl. I'm a hold it up. For you. <laughs> but you know what? I do think we're, we're keep focusing on what's obvious, which is females aging and also in, in beauty. But for a second, let, let's talk about this other angle of it, which is the difference about elders in general. I sat down with a friend of mine who's a, a dear friend and an acting coach. And yeah. I think he's around 80 years old at this point. He's opening on Broadway um, in a couple of months, um, doing some work. He's incredible work. We sat down over breakfast and he told me some stories about something. And I thought afterwards, my God, I learned so much about something, I mean, that I can apply in my work today if we just took the time to ask the questions. Mm -hmm. Now, you brought up earlier, Ellie, when we were chatting off camera about uh, Facebook and texting and all this, and how much is that possibly taking away from that, from taking time to sit down and talk with some of these people who don't get on the Facebook, who don't know how to text? Is there some truth to well, that? I think you brought up a good point, that if you know somebody who's an octogenarian, I mean, these are our, these are our treasures in America. Mm, truly. If you know some older person, somebody even down the street from you, or grandmother or something, sit down and talk with them. Those, those are our treasures. Take your kids to meet them. And yeah. take your kids to meet them. There's something so them. beautiful about when the young and the old get together. There's a magic. My daughter used to have yes. it with her father's father. I believe it would be so wonderful. It was heaven to watch what yeah. sparks came alive yeah. with the two of them. Yeah. And, you know, and he was like near 100 and had Alzheimer's. And here's this little baby, and I, da, 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 three and four. But together they held each other's gaze mm -hmm. and attention, and there was like a light that radiated from Wouldn't both of them in that space. took all the orphans and put them with the old folks' home yeah. and saw what happened, just to see that magic. We're allowed yeah. to just solve it. Our That's it. Like that. yeah. Yeah. We should look for yeah. that. It's we great. Do that. Tiffany sang one time at an old folks' home because I was in my fear and afraid to. <laughs> Who's and a she woman, stepped up. Tiffany? Who's she, a woman in Hollywood that's really embodying what we're talking about the most right now, where she's, you know, allowing herself to age Judy Dench. Uh -huh. Judy Dench. Uh -huh. Love Dame yep. Judy. Yep, absolutely. Love her. What about Helen Mirren? Helen Mirren. Helen mm -hmm. Mirren's like mm -hmm. Tina Turner. That woman in a bikini. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, right? Right? <laughs> but again, some of these actresses, who Holly yeah, Hunters yeah. and all these, that were saying in this movie, they brought those people up and said, but if you are not an Academy Award winning actress, what about all the other very talented women in these age groups who aren't getting a chance that are to be recognized, so hard to be yeah. seen? You can also oh. tell by the number of hair dyes for men. Mm. that men are conscious. We also have a number of men who have in the middle age have lost their jobs and because of the recession are having to go back into the workplace. Yeah. And they're learning a real harsh lesson. I mean, we're seeing that, that you know, them, they're getting the plastic surgery and the, the hair plugs and as much as we're doing, every, I have not done anything. Will you, are you against it or will you? In well, I would. Get plastic Do, surgery. You know what? I don't think so. I say that today. But I talked to a girlfriend of mine who just had liposuction and dropped 20 pounds. And I'm like, really? <laughs> and you did, she didn't have to work. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm real 
pain conscious. I don't, I hope I I hope I wouldn't have to do it. And I'm really scared of stuff I'm like that. I'm scared of stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. But I just think if we open up to all the gifts that are around mm -hmm. us, whatever the age, you know, we need to yes. do that and, and be the best we can be. That's it's all important. we can do is That's be right. the best we can be and know that makes you your unique individual. And in the meantime, so. floss your teeth and use sunblock. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that she was she knew Thank you. <laughs> Up here, are they? No, no. <laughs> now, listen, I claim every gray hair you don't see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On our next episode, we're going to have a very special guest with us, Rose Cole, who'll give us practical tips on feeling better, feeling younger, and having more energy. There you go. Core Inner Circle members also, you'll have access to additional exclusive expert videos available in your core member section. In the meantime, we want to get your Braveheart view. So to join us in our discussion forum after the show or to watch more episodes, go to BraveheartView.com. On behalf of Rolanda, Suzanne, Marla, and myself, Ellie, thank you for connecting and peace in.